fantastic to see you. I hope that you are having an, an incredible day today. Thank you so much for giving me a little bit of your time. I've been really inspired by the glasses I'm wearing and fall trends. This necklace, this happened to be from Target a couple of months ago that I really wanted to come on here and show you how I'm giving a really strong push to finish my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette by the end of this year. I'm going in with a bunch of shades. In fact, if you're working with your entire palette and you have dark hair, this is an ideal way for you to get some progress because if you have all of the shades in your palette and you have dark hair, you have the ability to incorporate seven out of the 16 shades. So awesome way to make some progress. This look is very, very versatile for every day, whether you're going to school, you're going to work, you're running errands, or if you prefer a lighter look during the day, this is an, an ideal way to give yourself something with a little bit more oomph and pizzazz if you want a darker, smokier look for nighttime. Because I know we've got holiday parties coming up. This is a really fun way to do it, to kind of go with more of the purple, burgundy, smoky brown. And I've also gone through with a really strong teal liner. Um, I wanted to go on and keep using my Lorac Mega Pro palette down here. So I've been in inspired to kind of go back into deep teal. But I was also thinking if you have either the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture palette or the Prism palette, there are two gorgeous teal shades included in both of those. This would be an awesome way to get some use out of it. Or MAC also has a, I can't remember what the exact shade name is, but it's described as a matte um, bottle green kind of color. It has more of a teal vibe, but again, it's, it's pretty close to deep teal in tone, kind of a peacock bluish green color. So like I said, brilliant way to incorporate some of those fall tones, the jewel tones on your eyes. And if you have hazel or brown eyes, this look is beautiful for you because it's going to, yeah, it's kind of dark, but at the same time, it's going to make your eye color really, really pop. So don't be afraid to wear something like this during the day or at night. And then before we get into the get ready with me, I wanted to kind of talk about, let me turn that off. I'm sorry, that was rude. Um, but there are a couple of lip colors that I love reaching with this particular eye look. This combo that I have on currently is the MAC Lip Liner Pencil in the shade World topped with MAC's Matte Velvet Lips or Velvet Teddy Lipstick. I also love wearing it with the Kat Von D Study Kiss Lipstick in the shade Vampira like I showed in the little um, preview before the video. It's a beautiful kind of blood burgundy wine shade. I like pairing that with the MAC Lip Liner Pencil in the shade Burgundy. They are pretty much dupe for dupe match. So there is a combo of that. But if you're wanting something at an affordable price point, Maybelline makes a really great lipstick in their metallic line that recently came out called Copper Rose. Here is Copper Rose. It's a little bit more of a Christmas presenty finish, but very, very close. So this is the Copper Rose to give you more of a kind of standout finish. But if you pair it with that burgundy lip liner, it looks pretty much the same as Vampira. So I wanted to share that combo with you um, to give you kind of a nude version, to go to a night version, um, and also kind of the way that I've oriented this look because I'm using a warm brown in my crease. If you wanted to take it and wear more of the warm reds and things like that, because I know um, Too Faced Melted Lipstick in the shade Gingerbread is all the rage right now, you can also make it work with an orangey or red. Or if you have Kat Von D's, um, Everlasting Liquid Lipstick and Project Champs, it's another one. Or um, the MAC Lipstick and Chili, if you're wanting to really get a lot of wear out of that. So today I took more of a burgundy tone with this look, but if you want to, you can also go more of the um, brown direction. So let's do this, let's get into it. The first thing that I'm doing, um, oh, and also kind of the other thing I wanted to talk about, um, if you have dark hair, this gives you an option, this whole look gives you an option to use seven out of the 16 shades in this palette. So like I said, really, really versatile. Um, I'm going to be subbing in a lot of shades for my Lorac Mega Pro palette because I finished so many shades out of here. But if you're going through your palette, you're gonna wanna focus on white chocolate, black forest truffle, salted caramel, um, marzipan, amaretto, and then if you're feeling particularly adventurous, I like contouring with hot chocolate down here. It works really, really well. As long as you kind of go with a light hand, you don't want to go too dark. Otherwise, it looks a little bit 
stark and you know over the top but if you if you very subtly go over it it's really really beautiful to kind of just hollow out your cheekbone areas and the and the contours around the perimeter of your face so like i said i'm going to go through i'm going to talk about some dupes um, from some other palettes if you're not using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar or you're looking to rotate the rest of your collection. So let's do this. The first thing I'm doing, as per usual, I am going over my entire eye area with my trusty old MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre just to give me a really smooth canvas to start off with. And then I'm following through and I'm setting it with a fluffy eyeshadow brush with the shade White Chocolate from my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. Like I said, if you are not using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, you can go through with Wet n Wild's Brulee, Lorac Mega Pro's Cream, Lorac Pro's Cream, um, any of your favorite cream shadows from other palettes. I know It Cosmetics has one, Sigma has one, Makeup Geek, um, Naked, or I mean the Naked palette series, you can go through with your Naked 3 palette. Any of those beautiful, beautiful Foxy from your Naked 2, if that's another one you're looking to make some progress on, or if you're using the Naked Basics or Naked Basics 2. Tons and tons of options that you already have at your disposal within your collection. Then I shook things up just a little bit this time. I really wanted to go through and kind of have a kind of a one shadow look without being a one shadow look, a little bit more involved. So without using an extra cream shadow base, I'm going through with the flat C brush or C brush from e.l.f. and I am patting the shade Amaretto all over my eyelid area. I really want it to be smoky without being too over the top. Again, other dupes in your collection. If you're using your Lorac Mega Pro palette for Amaretto, I would go in with the shade Maroon down here. It's a perfect alternative. If you're using MAC, I would go in with the shade Antiqued. If you're using the Stila in the Light palette, follow through with the shade Sunset. Or if you're using the Lorac Pro palette, the shade Garnet, all of these are gorgeous, gorgeous options to really give you an autumnal look and you can smoke it out with those deeper plummy shades a little bit later in this look. So have fun with it. Don't be afraid to bring in some other shadows. This gives you an awesome way to really kind of look at your, your uh, neutral palettes in a different way. And then you know, classic look. I'm going to go through and follow through with a warm brown in my crease area. If I were using my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, that would be the shade Salted Caramel. What I have done instead is I've gone through with my Lorac Mega Pro palette and I'm mixing the shades Camel and Sepia together and I'm running them through my transition area, my crease. Um, because with my hooded eyes, it helps to make my eyes look a little bit larger and less hooded once I start applying that crease shade. So again, warm brown is very, very easy to find in the rest of your collection. And I also, if I really want to take this in a berry mood, um, I like to use a mauve in my transition area. So if you're using your Naked 3 palette, for example, I would mix the shades Limit and Nooner together. If I'm using my Lorac Mega Pro palette, I love mixing Dusty Plum and Orchid together because it gives me an exact dupe to the shade Mauve from the Lorac Pro. Like I just mentioned, if you have the Lorac Pro palette, follow in with the shade Mauve if you want it to have a much more berry tone. It's super, super fun, very, very easy, and gives you a way to kind of shake it up if you're, if you're kind of sick of the warm brown trend that I know everybody's kind of on right now. Then going in for highlight, I'm shaking it up a little bit. Normally, I would go in with a white eyeliner pencil in my inner corners because I really want my highlight to pop since I wear glasses all the time. It, it can kind of make my highlight get lost. But today, since I'm using Marzipan as my highlight, I'm actually following through with this champagne eyeshadow crayon. This one happens to be from Wet n Wild. It's the Shadow Icon um, Idolize Pencil in the shade uh, Pixie. It looks like this. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it translate on camera. But if you're also looking for some other alternatives, because I believe this pencil has been discontinued. Julep at Ulta has a really, really pretty color called Pearl Shimmer. Really, really close to this and also an amazing formula. And you can use your Ulta um, Platinum points to get something like that. So like I said, you can use the, the Wet n Wild version and also Julep has that Pearl Shimmer that I'm just thinking of the top of my head. But most brands will have a beautiful cream shadow option. If, you, if you're not using a pencil, go through with the um, uh, cream 
pot. Is that what this is? <laughs> a cream pot. I cannot think right now, but, um, and then you can just use your fingers to blend it in. So I'm taking it on my inner corners and I'm also very lightly applying it to my brow bone and kind of blending it out a little bit, just so when I go through next with that highlighting shade and marzipan, um, it helps it to stand out just a little bit more on my skin tone because once I put my glasses on, everything does kind of get lost in the shuffle and I, I don't want my eyes to look muddy. So just stamp that marzipan on top of that champagne highlighting color and it is gorgeous. As you can see, the look is finally starting to come together. And then for my favorite part, I love adding the crease color because that's when the look really, really comes together. So I'm taking a Revlon crease brush and I'm actually swirling it in the shade Black Forest Truffle. The reason I am swirling it is because I'm gonna knock off the excess in the sink to get off all that extra glitter and I'm going to treat it as a matte shadow. It works a lot better for me that way, but if you're wearing it on the lid, it is really, really pretty to leave the glitter in there. So if you wanna do it like I do, swirl your brush around, knock off that excess, give it a firm tap, and then gently stamp it into your outer corner and start blending it up into your crease area. I do like to go over two, sometimes two and a half, maybe three times, just to make sure that there is a, a differentiation in color between the Black Forest Truffle to the Amaretto because I've noticed when you mix Black Forest Truffle with the warm brown after you've knocked off the excess glitter, it's pretty much the same color as Amaretto. Weird, huh? So I'm um, just going through and making sure it's, it's the intensity I want. You can make it as sheer as you want. You can go as deep as you want. Have a lot of fun with it. And this is one of those kind of looks that has really made me fall in love once again with the Black Forest Truffle. I also love it um, with Marzipan on my lids. So I'll go on and link that. Um, get ready with me in the card above so you can check that out. So that's kind of the eye look coming together. We're going to step away for just a little bit and go down to work on our lash line. I am going through, because my eyes are hooded, I like to put on a cream or a gel liner first and then I set it with an eyeshadow to make sure that I don't have any creasing and weird kind of traveling action during the day. So I'm going through with just a basic black eyeliner. Um, I'm using this Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil in just the shade Sleek Onyx, very easy. Or you can go through with your favorite gel liner, cream liners, whatever have you. And I'm just lining my lash line. I'm not doing any wings, nothing fancy, because for me it doesn't show up. So <laughs> um, I'm just going through and making a basic line, and then I'm taking a Real Techniques eyeliner brush, and I'm setting that liner with the shade Deep Teal. One of the things that I love in particular, if you're wanting a really strong, colorful liner, put that black as a base first because it's gonna make the color really, really pop of whatever you put on top of it. So it's making that teal stand out and be beautiful and just vibrant and really make my brown eyes pop. And like I mentioned before, if you're using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette, that beautiful teal shade in there, or the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette, or MAC shades, or um, Makeup Geek has a bottle green um, matte shade, Makeup Forever. It's, it's very easy to find those kind of shades in the fall because they're very saturated jewel tones. You can also go even in a navy direction, like if you wanted a really strong blue line, or if you wanted a really bright purple, like layering a really um, sparkly, shimmery, um, kind of uh, bluish purple on top of the black. Oh, that'd be so, so pretty. So. It really gives you a lot of options to go in different directions with your makeup. Then on my lower lash line, I just have this on hand. You don't have to go with anything this similar, but I wanted to kind of follow through with the teal on my lower lash line. And this Lorac formula is notorious for being black shadow with the shimmer that matches the color it's supposed to be. So in order to really kind of amp up the teal look, I'm just going through with this L'Oreal Silkissime liner in the shade True Teal. It's a bright, um, almost a summery looking teal, but I'm using that on my lower lash line. And once again, I'm also setting it with the deep teal shade from the Lorac Mega Pro palette or go through with whatever teal shade you used on your upper lash line. It's gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. 
And then before I move on to the rest of my face, I want to make sure that I've cleaned up any fallout because Too Faced shadows are notorious for that. So I just sweep my powder brush around, kind of clean everything up, and then we are ready to kind of work on the rest of the face before I go back and finish the eyes. So just to kind of run you through what I'm wearing on the rest of my face, I went on and contoured the perimeters of my face with this NARS Laguna Bronzer. This is the Matte Sunkissed formula. There's no shimmer in this. I recently picked it up. Um, it's quite similar to the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I personally can't handle the smell on that. It's a little bit too strong uh, in fragrance for me, but this is a nice alternative. It's just very light, very, very easy on the skin for an everyday basis. And then, like I mentioned before, I'm going through with the shade Hot Chocolate for my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette with an e.l.f. contour brush. And I'm very lightly just contouring the um, cheekbones and um, going through with my temple area up near my hairline, the sides of my nose and under my chin just to give me a little bit more depth. I'm not going crazy with it. You do have to be careful because it is quite a shimmery bronze, but it's giving me another way to kind of finish off what's left in that pan of shadows. So fun tip, if you're, if you're wanting a way to multitask your products, that is an easy way. I loved doing that with hazelnut as well. That was one of the ways that I was really able to um, maximize my use on that product. Then in terms of blush, I'm keeping it very, very simple. I'm using this really berry toned blush from Tarte. This is the Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Blushing Bride. Um, you can go through with any berry tones in your collection or like I mentioned before, once again, if you want to go in kind of more of a brown direction, you can go with a bronzier blush or more of a peach, or if you have something like Tarte's Exposed, you can take it in a very nude direction. So very, very easy to make any blush work. So I'm following this on the back sides of my cheeks, and then I take just the littlest bit, and I go on and warm up my crease um, just to kind of anchor everything down. I know I've, I've mentioned this in many of my Get Ready With Me's before. It really helps kind of make my look cohesive for me, especially with my hooded eyes. So just kind of a tip for thought. And then, I'm going back through and I'm multitasking my chocolate bar one more time and I'm taking marzipan and I'm using that to highlight the tops of my cheekbones down the center points of my face. It makes a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful highlight and it's pretty similar to a lot of the other highlighters that you find in the larger pans on the market today. So it gives you, yes, yet another way to multitask some eyeshadows. So I hope that you have a lot of fun with this look. Um, again, there's so much versatility in terms of lip options. I mean, I mentioned wearing MAC World Lip Liner with the shade um, Velvet Teddy from MAC on top, or the, um, the Kat Von D Vampiro Lipstick. Um, if you happen to have one of these from Sephora, I know they're busily discontinuing these um, with the shade Burgundy from MAC and the lip liner, or also to um, the Copper Rose color from Maybelline. Or if you wanted to go red-orange, you can go nude. You can go pinkier nude. You could go deep purple vampy um, if you have MAC's Heroin. That would be another gorgeous option. Um, and also you can go fuchsia. So feel free to have fun and shop your stash. Have a lot of um, just creativity kind of come out with this makeup because you can change the, the eyeliner shades, you can change the lip colors, you can change the cheek colors, and it still keeps you in your Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette if that's what your goal is as well. So have fun with it. Can't wait to hear how it works out for you. Take care, and I look forward to catching up with you very, very soon. See you later.